नमस्ते वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ अर्थ नीति वेर वी डिस्कस मनी एंड मनी रिलेटेड मैटर्स टू हेल्प यू इन योर एवरी डे इन्वेस्टिंग डिसीजन आई एम डॉक्टर शेफालिका गोखले आई होल्ड अ पी एच डी इन बिजनेस प्रैक्टिस ऑफ म्यूचुअल फंड हाउसेस एज इन्वेस्टर्स वी आर ऑफन टोल्ड दैट होर्डिंग कैश इज नॉट अ स्मार्ट स्ट्रैटेजी ड्यू टू इन्फ्लेशन द वैल्यू ऑफ कैश रिड्यूसेस देयर बाय रिड्यूसिंग इट्स परचेसिंग पॉवर yet in the month of september 2024 majority of the mutual fund houses were hoarding large amounts of cash icici prudential being one of the uh, largest mutual fund houses in the country only second to sbi mutual fund it was hoarding cash to the tune of 31976 crores the total cash that mutual fund houses collectively were hoarding it was uh, to the uh, tune of 1.8 lakh crore rupees now in spite of the markets reaching new heights in september but have been in decreasing uh, ever since uh, the market has been dilly dallying since september why do you think mutual fund houses are hoarding so much cash what can be the reason behind this and what should we as investors learn from these big investment houses mutual fund houses that we can implement in our own investment strategies that is what is the focus of today's video so pile on in the month of september mutual fund houses were hoarding nearly 1.86 lakh crore rupees in cash now this amounted to nearly 5% of the total assets under management in mutual fund houses i told already told you the figures for icici prudential mutual fund sbi mutual fund which is the largest mutual fund in terms of aum have had a cash amounting to nearly 27000 crore rupees Uh, parak parek mutual fund which is a relatively smaller mutual fund house was holding nearly 1/5 of its total aum nearly 20% of its total aum in cash terms now why are do mutual fund houses keep some money that they receive from investors in cash and not invest it uh, the reason is simple to cater to uh, redemption requests that arise uh, to uh, from the investors uh, to cater to those requests fund houses often keep some percentage of their assets under management in liquid cash and the another reason why this is done is to enter markets at opportune moments when they think that the valuations in the markets are not worth uh, investing the money then they uh, take a cautious approach and keep that money liquid so as to pay, to quickly invest them when market gives them a uh, opportunity where they think the valuations have reached fair levels holding cash can actually protect investor interests if the market falls which has been happening for some days now the mutual fund houses quickly enter the market invest the money and buy the stocks on their radar at lower prices thus benefiting investors who are basically in the who have basically made the investments for long term right uh, this approach is followed by conservative investment houses like parak parek mutual funds or quantum mutual funds who look at valuations rather than short term gains in one of the interviews investor ramesh damani was asked about uh, his take on such large uh, cash holdings by mutual fund houses and whether he also followed the same philosophy in the current market situations to which uh, ramesh damani said that uh, it was very necessary to be invested in the market otherwise how would you make money right but he gave a note of caution saying that valuations do matter so yes he was also uh, uh, hoarding uh, some amount of cash in his investment portfolio and was looking uh, for opportune moments and dips in the market where he could enter uh, the stocks on his radar so yes that is a strategy that large investors also follow so as small investors what should we learn from this strategy which is followed by uh, 
long time investors well known big investors like ramesh damani and various mutual funds what as investors should we learn from this the first important thing that we can learn is the art of patience often in a knee jerk reaction we enter the market only to suffer losses from what strategy the mutual fund houses have put in place the one thing that we learn is wait and watch is a good strategy when you don't know when the market is uncertain about where it is headed waiting and watching is a good strategy the second thing that we can learn is valuations do matter it is not about entering the market and staying there it is about at what value you enter the market so that you benefit maximum now while checking the value of stocks there are some parameters that you can look at uh some parameters like pe ratio comparing the pe ratio of the stock that you have uh set your eyes on with the industry peers uh historical average of the pe ratio will give you a fair enough idea about how the stock is valued looking at price to book value also is one of the parameter to check valuation of the stock if the pb ratio is above 1 uh which means that the price uh, the stock is priced above its book value can uh, be a case of uh, overvaluation of the stock but all again uh, other factors like potential growth of the company also matter when you look at this ratio price to sales ratio dividend yield ratio financial health of the company uh, debt levels of the company news that uh, are uh, that the company uh, about the company that you read all these go into deciding whether the company is available at fair value the one thing that this uh, strategy of mutual fund also teaches you is to study your own risk tolerance now some investors are ready to take uh, high risks like some mutual fund strategies and are fully invested in the market uh, at all points of time others have a cautious approach so holding cash uh, for that kind of approach is also well justified understanding your risk tolerance level helps you take the right investment strategy diversification is the last learning that we should take from this from uh, the whole commentary diversification is your all weather friend now markets uh, as we all know as we have been taught uh, always go in cycles it is not that market goes just upwards or downwards markets uh, have a cyclical trend so uh, placing your investments uh, some of it in uh, high risk investment options and some of uh, some of the investments in low risk investment options help you to weather out the different cycles in the market and keep your money safe correct uh, fine like it is uh, uh, see where your money will only grow if you do not lose it so having that uh, strategy in mind when you invest your money is always beneficial in the long run wealth creation process so uh, i hope uh, this video was interesting and you have learned uh, uh, your investment uh, as to what investment strategy you should follow from this video for more such educative content please like share and subscribe my youtube channel and see you in the next video until then stay safe good night